All right, so now we're just around the corner from our last pit. Still 9,700 feet, but on a more north aspect. And in our last pit, it was a little bit shallower. And we had a structure similar to this with some really weak sugary facets down below this crust that formed on Thanksgiving. And over there, they were a lot weaker and we're propagating fractures with our stability test. Here, the snowpack's looking a little bit stronger. It's not collapsing or propagating. And so that's just showing how some slopes is gonna be stable and some it's not. Um, so we have to be really diligent with snowpack assessment. Assess the snowpack by understanding the patterns of, and distribution of this instability or digging multiple pits on terrain similar to where you plan to ride. Otherwise, I would avoid avalanche terrain altogether, especially where the snowpack is relatively shallow for the advisory area, which is around three or four feet.